Oh, hey guys, Boston Fan back with another TTM Minute, where I'm going to share three recent TTM uh, returns. Uh, it's getting cold up here in the Northeast. It's tolerable now, but come Friday, it's going to be apparently negative 10 degrees outside here. So I know some of you in the Midwest are probably used to that, and that's like every day for you. But up here in the Northeast, around the Boston area, that's pretty intense. So I film in the basement, so I probably won't be filming this weekend. So wanted to get a video in maybe I can get another one in if I get some more TTMs but anyway let's go through the three that I've gotten back recently <clears throat> none from the vault today though the vault is still full so the first one back is Steve Nicosia he used to be one per but I saw that he was signing multiples so that comes back to us from Georgia and it comes back in about a week's time seven days he signed an 83 Donruss, 82 Donruss, I like the action pictures, 81 Tops, and the nice 83 Tops, which I am growing. My fandom of has grown since I've started this channel, so that'll go on right on top. Um, nice to get multiples of Steve Nikosia back. I've got a you know a bunch of his cards, of, like everybody from the 80s, really. Um, he was a first-round pick in 1973 by the Pirates. He started four games for the 1979 um, Pirates in the World Series. Sorry, sorry, four World Series games. I should be more specific. Um, and actually caught Game 7. And and apparently, in the video, someone tried to steal, and the celebration, someone tried to steal his mask, and you can see him beating down on the fan that does that. So maybe possible YouTube that and check it out. Um, he played eight years for the Pirates, the Giants. Of course, I put all Pittsburgh cards in there because that's what I had. Uh, Montreal, Toronto, career 248 hitter. Hit only 11 home runs, so not a ton of power um, and 88 RBIs, but he was a member of that We Are Family 1979 Pirates Club. So nice to get him back. Not new to the collection. I only have one signed card of him, so really glad to get the multiples back. And again, I had seen on other channels that he was signing multiples. Next one up is also not new to the collection. is Bobby Knopp, and yes, it is pronounced Knopp. I looked it up. You can find a video of him being elected into the um, Angels Hall of Fame and the uh, address announcer says Knopp. It's also on baseball reference, but I've always called him Bobby Noop, but it's wrong. Um, so this comes back to us from, I believe he lives in California, no, nope, Arizona, and that is a seven day return as well. So he signed a 69 card. I had just a bunch of extra old vintage, it's creased, but figured I'd send it, and a 66. 66 because it's not creased is on top. I only have one left. I don't remember what I asked him. Oh, I asked him if he had the gold glove trophies. He won three gold gloves, two gold gloves. Let me find my Bobby Noop card. So he played nine years for the Angels, White Sox, Royals. Um, yep, and he was a three-time gold glove winner, 66 through 68. So I asked him, do you you know still have those gold glove trophies that they used to give out? I don't know if they still give them out today. Um, and apparently he only has one of them left. Maybe he sold them. Maybe he gave them to family. Who knows? Um, he was an all-star starter in 1966. He's in the Angels Hall of Fame, like I said. Um, and in his nine seasons, he batted 236 with 56 home runs and 331 RBIs. Um, always nice to add a Hall of Famer of a team. You know, I just think it's kind of cool. Although I don't particularly collect the Angels. Just kind of neat that he's an Angels Hall of Famer. Um, and he's a great signer. Has been for a while. His signature is getting a little sloppy. He's, he's fairly old probably in his 80s at this point. Um, so if you got some cards or even some index cards, obviously he's a great signer. Send him out, get him out. And last one of this video is none other than Stanley Morgan. So this is an old return. Personalized two cards. So he signed the in action. I think that's 82. Yep. And then the pro set. This is an 89 pro set. Yep. 89 pro set. So I sent these a while back. I'm going to have to look that up on Sports Collectors. Sorry for that. Uh, Morgan was an all-time receiver for the Patriots. Still is, really. Um, set in September 17th. Um, so that's four-month return at this point, maybe five. Um, and when he retired, he led the Patriots in basically every receiving category. There was yards, um, receptions, I think touchdowns. Um, and he might still hold the record for yards per catch. I think his career was over 20 yards per catch. Um, somebody look that up and put that in the comments. Or maybe I'll pin the comment. I don't know. I never remember to pin comments, but, you know, whatever. Um, but he was great. Um, 
So I just had a couple cards hadn't sent to him in years and years and years. Um, it had been three years since I had sent to him, according to sports collectors. Um, so I, I had the vintage card. I really like the in-action cards. I like action shots. It's just something I don't, I don't have like a collection of action shots, but those are the cards I choose. Um, and so he personalized, which I don't mind, and signed two in blue Sharpie. Really nice. Um, nice that he's signing. I think for a while he stopped or he was only signing one per. Um, it's glad that he's signing again. Um, and if you want a bit of Patriots history, pre-Brady. Brady retired today, by the way, so it's a big feels day for me. Um, I think this one's going to be the real retirement. I don't think he's going to come back. Though, if the 49ers came calling, I think he might make an exception. But getting back to the Patriots, a um, little bit of Patriots history there. All-time great receiver for the franchise. Glad to get him back. It is going to be a wait for him. He, he seems to sign in, in, in bunches. So send it out. I don't mind waiting. Like I just want the autograph. So if I have to wait four months or five months, I don't care. I'm not one of those people that needs returns constantly. So get it out. Let it sit there. And then on a spring or summer day, randomly, you might get Stanley Morgan back. But I'm hitting six minutes, which is way more than I wanted to, guys. Those are my three returns. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you send out to one of these guys if you feel like it. For Mr. DeCosia, Mr. Knopp, and Mr. Morgan, thank you for signing my cards. They go directly into my collection. I do appreciate it. Everybody, thank you for your time, and I'll talk to you again soon.